Today on How to Film, we're going to talk about what to do if your flight is canceled and you're stuck all day in a hotel room. This is how to film a YouTube video or anything. If your flight is canceled, like mine was, and you're stuck in a hotel room, like I am, then the very best thing for you to do is get your camera out and film a YouTube video like I'm doing right now. But if you don't have your camera and you still have some downtime, you can still make use of it. And one of the best things that I like to do when I don't have my camera is to catch up on blogs and YouTube channels that help me to learn, grow, and give me inspiration. So uh, I just want to go over a quick few of those right now and hopefully they will uh, help you out as well. One of those channels that I am very new to is actually NerdWriter1. NerdWriter1 currently has over a million subscribers and he covers a wide range of art theory. Um, but the, the first video that I saw was particularly related to film and it was called Passengers Rearranged. Passengers is the movie starring Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt uh, where they're uh, stranded on a spaceship that is uh, making a lifetime journey. You know the one. Uh, anyway, uh, I saw the movie. It was a great movie. I loved it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit slow for some people, but, you know, it doesn't hurt you to use the old gray matter a little bit. Uh, when watching a movie, it doesn't need to be all full of explosions and crazy stuff like that, although I enjoy those too. Anywho, uh, what NerdWriter1 did was he said, what if we told this story in a different order and just rearranged... Uh, the perspective of it and so if you haven't seen uh, passengers you might want to see it first because you know there's spoilers on the other hand it might be fun to watch the YouTube video first and you know see the theory and then make your own decision and watch the movie later I don't know it's up to you now the thing I appreciate about this video and there's a link below so you can uh, connect to it yourself is that it's the type of critical thinking that actually helps you become a better filmmaker and a better storyteller. There's a lot of critical videos out there that just say, you know, what's wrong with this movie and how terrible it is and how much smarter the YouTube guy is than all the people that created the movie. And that really isn't helpful at all if you're trying to hone your skills, if you're trying to learn the art of storytelling. Um, it's kind of pointless, actually. But what NerdWriter1 does is he just says, you know, nothing wrong with the Hollywood version, but what if we re rearrange the story and that actually helps your creative process in telling your stories. You could say there's more than one way to tell the story and how we tell that story can dramatically affect uh, the perception and the final product. And so check that out. Another channel that is in a similar vein to that is Matt Pat's film theory. Now a lot of you know Matt Pat, he's very popular, but if you really pay attention to his film theory videos, he's putting a lot of thought into it. And if you follow uh, his thinking, it will help you also become a better filmmaker, a better storyteller. And uh, it will, you know, help you think a little bit deeper about the story you're telling and how to add, a, you know, some more uh, themes, elements, all that. So. And if nothing else, it just kind of inspires you and, get, and gets those creative juices going. So another channel I highly recommend is Matt Pat's Film Theory. Links below. Um, more on the technical side, if you want to hone your skills as a director of photography, uh, you know, everything from focal length to lighting, uh, Premium Beat has an excellent blog that comes out, you know, fairly regularly. And uh, Premium Beat, you're familiar with they sell stock video stock music and they also produce a blog and this blog is you know highly useful uh, more on the technical side so uh, you know if that kind of stuff makes your head spin maybe it's not for you but if you really uh, want to learn a lot of the technical aspects of video creation I highly recommend the premium beat blog Another source to learn some of this stuff is from a DP out of Hollywood named Shane Hurlbut. Shane has some excellent material, although a lot of it's not available for free. You have to pay for uh, some of his courses. But if you're serious about the craft, I would recommend 
uh, taking some of those, paying the money, it'll be worth it. Um, I've never met Shane personally, but I know people that have worked with him. I've never heard anything bad about him other than he's a great guy and he really knows his stuff and he's an excellent teacher. So uh, there's a link below to his site if you're interested in going that route. Someone that you also may be familiar with is Freddie Wong. Uh, Freddie Wong back in the day had a YouTube channel called Freddie W where he would uh, just give little tutorials on simple visual effects, simple green screening, and uh, from that it grew to uh, what well, he started producing Video Game High School, which you're probably familiar with, and now Dimension 404, which is on uh, some of the, uh, oh, some of the pay-per-view, not pay-per-view, but, uh, you know, like Netflix, I can't remember if it's on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime. On one of those, anyway, you see uh, Dimension 404, so he's come a long way. He doesn't do the tutorials anymore, and I think Freddy W channel is gone and it's all Rocket Jump. But if you go to Rocket Jump, I'll put a link below and I'll even link it to one of the old videos. Uh, in fact, there's one where he stands on a car going down the freeway playing a guitar, but he's actually not doing that because that's a good way to get killed. It's a gr green screen and he shows you how to do it. And it's about seven years old now, but uh, that's a good example of uh, someone who's doing kind of like what I'm doing, like helping other people learn uh, the skills to to do what you want to do to create your film, to create your story. And so it's for me, it's very interesting to follow Freddie's career and, you know, kudos, Freddie. You're doing awesome. The final site I want to mention real briefly is called videocopilot.net. And videocopilot.net is a uh, tutorial channel for After Effects. And the guy that does the tutorials is Andrew Kramer. He is the master tutorial guy when it comes to After Effects. Now even uh, if you don't want to learn After Effects, I would still recommend that you go uh, watch at least one of Andrew's tutorials because uh, it is just the epitome of how to build a tutorial. I mean he's entertaining and he goes uh, you know line by line, click by click, you can follow him. So if you know nothing about After Effects, you can follow one of his tutorials and create the uh, you can create the effect that he's teaching you how to create just by following him click by click. Even if you don't understand what you're doing, it's an excellent way to learn After Effects. And actually that's how I learned After Effects is following Andrew's tutorials. And you know, little by little you start to understand what you're clicking on, what they do, and uh, pretty soon you can start to manipulate him and create the effect that you want to create. You know, at first maybe by modifying one of his tutorials and then pretty soon you'll be doing stuff by scratch. But like I said, even if After Effects is not your thing, uh, watch one of his tutorials because, you know, if you're making tutorials at all, you want to follow his example, believe me. Now that is all we have time for today. These are just a few of the uh, blogs and YouTube channels that I draw inspiration from, that I learn from, that I grow from. I would encourage you to go check them out and I would also encourage you to build your own list that is more pertinent to exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And hopefully this channel is one of those channels that you'll add to your list. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it, and come back next Monday where we'll have another one. Until then, I am Jeff McClellan. This is Grasshopper Cinema, and the channel is how to film a YouTube video or anything. See you then. What? Are you still here? The video's over. Scat. We're done.